This video has been brought to you by the Landscape Certified Contractors Association. Due to the membership support, we're able to bring content to each and every one of you. If you have a topic or a product you'd like us to review, or if you want to become a member, visit www.irrigatortech.com and hope to hear from you soon. Enjoy the video. Hi everyone, this is Brandon Burgess with Irrigator Technical Training School and today I'm going to go over the Rainmaster Eagle and I'm going to go over setting up ET so I'm going to go over the manual steps to set up ET and I'm going to go over what ET is so hope you enjoy so on my previous video what I did was I set up, set up the time I went through all the setup went through flow sensing so make sure you check that video out if you haven't watched it already so now what we're going to do is go over ET so quick little side note, ET stands for evapotranspiration, which is evaporation and transpiration combined. So evaporation is the actual physical sunlight that hits the ground and evaporates water from it. Now transpiration is the plants basically sweating, right? They cool themselves off, they release water vapor into the earth, right? So based on our weather conditions, if it's really hot, or cloudy or windy right we'll have different ET values so as we go through the stages what we're gonna do is gonna take an average of monthly totals and you'll see as we go through the steps and we're gonna input them so the controller knows hey when it gets warm I'm gonna be watering a little bit more this month and as it gets cooler it's gonna knock down the time so not the days but the run times Okay, so let's go ahead and start. So we just simply hit ET. And then it's going to ask me ET. So it's going to tell me ET and it's going to ask me what programs. So uh, we'll programs one and two. That's right. We can also do three and four also and take them away. We just simply press the buttons again. Hit enter to save. And we're going to go ahead and hit ET to set up this time. So now this is going to be my reference ET. So in case for some reason we lose data, we lose power, and the controller reverts to uh, factory settings, it's going to go to this reference ET that we put. So that's a tenth of an inch. Right? Depending on your area, you might want to change that. So now it's going to say in January, I got a tenth of an inch for the total of my ET, so my evapotranspiration, meaning throughout the entire month of January, I am losing a tenth of an inch of moisture. So I'm going to go ahead and put that to 0.7, a little bit lower. Again, if you go to a CIMIS station, a C-I-M-I-S, California Irrigation Management, in, I don't know, shit, I don't know what it is. Anyway, so if you go to a CIMIS station, Go to cimis.com. You can go ahead and see your values per month, and it could give you a history and give you these values to put in. So we hit ET to go. Now, February, we're good with the 10th. March, we're going to get a little bit warmer. ET. 18 for April. May, we're going to go to 21. June, we're going to 25. So you can see, so the, depending on your area, you're going to get different values. So, so this is that saying device. So if I have a device, an, an ET device, I'm saying I have one, yes, or I do have one on, or no for I do not have a device so we don't we manually put in those values and we hit ET and that's it so setting up the ET function on our Rainmaster controller pretty simple you just go through the prompt again go to a local weather station and find your ET rates to input into the timer and you can go from there so Remember, cycling through, if somebody gets in there and, and is messing with your controller, just go ahead and go through the ET. If you do not have an ET communication system, 
and it says on as you program it that you do have one you might run into some issues where you can't change a program or it won't water in your programs because it doesn't have the feedback it needs so little things that you need to be aware of so again this is Brandon Burgess with Irrigator Technical Training School and I hope this is helpful catch you on the next one